kids are going to look like all gone. Weeks turned into months and the months into years as the O.J. Simpson case turned into the trial of the century. We the jury and the yo, did Johnny Cochran have kids? I, got, I, I think he do. Are they lawyers? Because I would definitely need that type of, yo, that's, yo, he had a dream team. Like, they called it a dream team, too. Above in title action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. And even though many made it about race or celebrity, in the end, this was really about a father sitting in a courtroom looking at the man that he believed had butchered his son. When you're sitting there in the courtroom for weeks, and you're looking. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You click the title, you read the page. OJ did it. Remember that? Yo, remember that? Yo, I'm 31. So as a kid, like, I, I wasn't, like, really into the whole OJ Simpson thing. Okay, so that, so he went on trial October 3rd, 1995. I was born 1992. So this, this shit went over my head. Now, as I got older, though, the Netflix, well, actually, it was on cable it was on uh fx and then they put it on netflix i watched the oj simpson documentary like the trial how everything played out and um shout out johnny cochran may he rest in peace but oj did that shit <laughs> oj did that shit <laughs> like yo he did that shit bro he did that shit and um a lot of people are saying like yo it's his karma that he died yo bro the average human lifespan, back in the day, before we started eating all this bad shit and doing all this bad shit, you probably could live up to 105. Now, because we're just, the climate's all fucked up, the way we eat is all fucked up, you're probably going to die at like 70, 75. That's, you know what I mean? So, he died at what, 76? Oh, he lived a good life for a nigga that caught a body. Here in the Valley, our very own Mark Curtis sat down for an exclusive interview with him in July of 2017. Mark called Mr. Goldman again this morning to get his reaction. He and his wife Kim sent us this statement here. It reads in part, the news of Ron's killer passing away is a mixed bag of complicated emotions. For three decades, we tirelessly pursued justice for Ron and Nicole, and despite a civil judgment. Exactly for three decades, like boy, you should have got your get back your way. You know what I mean? Like. OJ was just walking around, waltzing around free. Y'all should have had, y'all should have slid for boy. But the way y'all was trying to go about it, wasn't it? And his confession in If I Did It, the hope for true accountability has ended. We will continue to advocate for the rights of all victims and survivors, ensuring our voices are heard both within and beyond the courtroom. Let's take a look back now at what Mr. Goldman had to say nearly seven years ago about his new normal after his son's death. O.J. Simpson. There has been no formal police action, but the coroner's report is in. Nicole Simpson and the man found with her. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Watching this shit, like, years later, yo, yo, the way they won this case is crazy. Like, yo, he did that. Yo, then they made him try on the glove after the glove was in evidence for so long and the shit shrunk. And then it, the glove don't fit. You must be quick. Yo, you want to talk about American history? Go on Netflix and watch the OJ Simpson little movie documentary whatever you know what i mean that's some american history for your ass that is how to get away with murder 101 101 you had multiple wounds what was your life like before that call i guess you could say it was reasonably normal we were a reasonably normal dysfunctional family you know i had raised ron and kim since they were roughly four and six. I hope that at some reasonable point I'd be able to retire, do my thing, and go forward and watch my kids grow up and get married and have kids of their own and enjoy life. The bodies of Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ronald Goldman were discovered early Monday morning. It should have worked out that way, but on the night of June 13th, 1994, everything changed for Fred Goldman. Damn, that shit happened around Gemini season. See them Geminis. It, some I feel like crimes be happening during Gemini season. It's them Geminis. It, it, it does something to the air. And all my Geminis, I love y'all. But I don't know how true this is. I'm going to look it up, though. But I heard, like, a lot of serial killers be Geminis. 
So I think it's something, it's something, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm a Libra, so we're compatible with Gemini. So I love y'all, you know, <laughs> but y'all be crazy. I wasn't home when the call came in. Patty had gotten the call. The call went something to the effect of, uh, hello, is this uh, Goldman's? Yes. Um, do you have a son, Ron? Yes. Patty said, there's somebody from coroner's office. They're calling about Ron. And I get on the phone, and this person said to me, are you aware of the murders that took place? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling? Well, your son was the other victim. Time suddenly stopped. Fred Goldman's only son was gone. You know, I said, well, do I have to come down and identify? No, we, we know it's him. We had a... And just to clarify, I'm not saying let get over your son passing away. I'm saying he, he spent his whole life trying to get OJ to confess, to just like, bro, you have to move. He, he got to move on from that. And I ain't going to lie. OJ's a piece of shit. You knew you had cancer. you And they couldn't try you twice. Because double, you know what I mean? You can't get tried for the same thing twice. So you could have just, you could have just said, yo, you know what I mean? I did it. You feel me? Like, you could have just kind of put out, you could have you could have put us to rest. <laughs> like, right when he knew he was about to take his last breath. I did. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you should have just admitted that shit, bro. You know, they hung up, and Patty and I stood in the kitchen hugging each other, crying our eyes out. Things couldn't get any worse, but they did. He was the one who'd have to call and break the news to his daughter, Kim. I said to Kim almost what was said to me by the coroner, did you hear anything about Kim said, why are you asking me something like that? And I told her that Rod had been killed. Fred's life had suddenly, in the cruelest possible way, lurched off the tracks. Your life becomes a new norm, a new normal, because the previous normal instantly goes away. Your dreams and your thoughts about what your child, in this case, is going to be doing with their life next year, next week, who their wife is going to be, what their kids are going to look like, all gone. Weeks turned into months, and the months into years, as the O.J. Simpson case turned into the trial of the century. We the jury and the... Yo, did Johnny Cochran have kids? I, got, I, I think he do. Are they lawyers? Because I would definitely need that type of... Yo, that's, yo, he had a dream team. Like, they called it a dream team, too. Above in title action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. And even though many made it about race or celebrity, in the end... This was really about a father sitting in a courtroom looking at the man that he believed had butchered his son. When you're sitting there in the courtroom for weeks and you're looking at him and you know. Y'all got a question, right? And just, just, just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. How the hell did OJ manage to stab? To, like, so what was the other person doing while he was stabbing the other person? Because if, if Ron didn't know her, they said that he was like delivery or some shit, they said. That's what they said. So if he didn't know her, if I go to do a delivery and I see some shorty getting stabbed the fuck up, I'm out. Or vice versa. If he started stabbing Ron first, I'm out. Like, I don't know. I just have so much questions. You know, it's, it's, it's a very unfortunate situation. But it's like, how? Like, I wish he would have just, he could have put our mind at ease before he died, bro. That he killed your son. How do you keep yourself from jumping over that railing? It's an interesting question because I thought about that many a time. Um, and to this day, still think about it. Um, I guess the answer is um, I, I think of myself as a decent human being, and that's not something I would do. Is there a lesson that you've learned? The only thing I can, I can say is that time does heal some, doesn't heal everything. But time gives you the opportunity to have, as I said before, a new normal in your life. And the new normal may not be what you wanted it to be, but it's going to be your new normal. In 1997, a civil suit by the victim's families found Simpson liable for the deaths of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. And now, how did he win the civil suit? That's crazy. Ordered him to pay. $33.5 million in damages. Now, Simpson paid little of the debt 
moved to Florida and struggled to remake his life.